Welcome. How to add an AWS account to NOPS with automatic setup. Now there's some prereqs that we need to talk about first before we begin. One is access to the master payer account if you're using an AWS organizations. Permissions to create and run an AWS CloudFormation stack. Permission to create AWS Identity and Access Management or IAM roles in your account. Also, the name of an Amazon S3 bucket where your AWS cost and usage reports will be written. NOPS will create a bucket with the provided name if one doesn't exist. You need CURS or the cost and usage reports enabled in the account. Quick pro tip, if you add an AWS account, NOPS will only see the cost details of that specific child account instead of the cost details of the entire organization. Let's get started. When you log into your NOPS account for the first time, a pop-up screen will appear. This pop-up screen will guide you through how you can add your AWS account to NOPS. If the pop-up was closed or you want to add another account, you can also get to the Add Accounts by going to the upper right hand corner where your avatar is at, click, and then underneath, hit Organization Settings. Underneath Organization Settings, you'll have the Cloud Accounts and then click Add New Account. If you're on the pop-up screen, select AWS and click Next. On the Getting Started screen, the section confirms if you have the required access to add an AWS account to NOPS. If you have the required access, click Yes. I have access in order to go to the next section. If you do not have the required access, to invite a member of your organization that has required access, click No Invite Member. This will take you to the Invite User page. For a linked cloud account, AWS Account Setup, use the NOPS Wizard Setup. Click Next. Within the Auto AWS Account Setup page, enter the following details. An AWS account name, this is a friendly, unique name for the NOPS account setup. For the S3 bucket name, a unique name of the S3 bucket you created for NOPS, use a name in all lower cases and numbers to distinguish this in your cloud and usage reports. If this doesn't exist, NOPS will try to create the bucket for you with the provided name. Click Setup Account, which will redirect you to your AWS console. If you're not already logged in, go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll be redirected to the Create Stack page. All the fields on this page will be pre-populated. Note that the CloudFormation stack can run from any region you prefer. You can easily change the region of the CloudFormation stack from the CloudFormation screen once you launch it from NOPS. Click on the checkbox for I acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation might create IAM resources. NOPS needs this permission to automate the creation of an IAM role. Go ahead and click the checkbox and then click Create Stack. The CloudFormation stack will show Create in Progress. Once the CloudFormation stack indicates that Create Complete has been successful, head on back to the NOPS console. Fetching is the last step in the pop-up screen. Fetching checks the account connectivity with AWS, checks CloudFormation stack permissions, and starts a data ingestion. After the stack creation is successful, you can go back to your NOPS account. Note that it can take up to 24 hours before you start seeing the different NOPS dashboards and compliance views populated with your data from your workload. This completes how to add an AWS account to your NOPS console.